A few days ago, Sebastian Suero made a post on LinkedIn where he mentioned his article the most abused Cypress command ever, Cy wait. And I actually very much agree with that. And also he asked the question, what do you think would be the second most abused Cypress command ever? Uh, my answer to that was click force true. And seems like the reaction of other folks agreed with that. And um, you know, the click force true is very similar abuse command for the playwright as well, because the functionality is very much similar. And I thought it could be a good idea to record a short video how this uh, actually works and why the force true is actually very much abused. I prepared a quick example. So we navigate to Bonder Academy Playground application and we're gonna try to click this remember me uh, checkbox right here. So we navigate to form, form layouts, and then we click on the first uh, checkbox and I'm gonna use instead of click, gonna use method check, which is recommended for the checkboxes. So if I try to run this test and make a click, and look what happened. So the click actually is not performed. We go on back, we see the test failed, right? But if I add a force true, force true and run this test one more time, running the test and now the checkbox is selected and test passed successfully. So the beginner engineers, when they discover this magic force true, what they use, they kind of abusing this command, adding the force true literally to every single command, check or click or whatever. Why? Because it works, because it helps to make tests working. But there is a hidden threat. What actually happens when you use force true? Let me explain. So let me remove this one more time and try to run this test. So running the test. The test fails and look, let's look into the stack trace. So um, locator is resolved and this is the locator it's looking for, attempting to click, waiting for element to be visible, stable, element is visible, and then we have intercept pointer events and then the cycle repeats again and again. So why playwright was not able to click on this checkbox initially? Because if we check the properties of this element, look, it has a class visually hidden. So this signals to the playwright that this element is not visible and not available. And playwright is waiting for this element because uh, playwright has actionability check. So similar like Cypress, the playwright also have actionability check before performing any action it has to be sure that this element is ready to receive this action. And what are those actionability checks? So right here in the player documentation in auto waiting, there is a table that describes the action method and actionability check. And look for the click or for the check command, for the command to be executed, it have to be visible, stable, receive event and enable. If any of those uh, four states will not be valid for this element, playwright will not perform the action. So this logic was done on purpose to increase the stability of the test. Playwright will click or check on the element only when the element is really ready to perform the click. But what happened if you use force true? When you add the force true command, what essentially you are doing, you are disabling all of those actionability checks and you are saying like, hey, playwright, click on this element, that's it. And playwright like, well, okay, but if this element will not be visible, stable and enable, well, that's not my fault and all responsibility on yours. And if you're gonna do this and will put force through into all of your action commands, that my friend is the ticket to the world of the flaky test. Because playwright or Cypress will not wait for the element to be ready to receive the click. It will make the click, but it's not guaranteed that the click will result in the action that you expect. Checkbox may not be selected, button may not be actually clicked, and so on and so forth. So the bottom line behind all this is this. Uh, use force true only when you absolutely have to. So in the situations like we have in our case, when this property 
add it to the checkbox, we know, okay, we have this property, it's artificially create a barrier to select this checkbox, then we have to add a force true. But other than that, do not add this, because this actionability checks automatically makes your test significantly more stable. And if you have to add force true, stop right there and think maybe you are doing something wrong most likely you are doing something wrong and there is a better way maybe adding some dynamic weight or something to make your element ready to be used instead of using the force. All right, that's all I wanted to share with you in this quick video and see you in the next one.